I'm Camille Gaines with FinancialWoman.com. Today I'd like to talk with you about index funds. You may have seen my earlier video about index funds or read my blog at FinancialWoman.com where I have some articles about index funds. But an index is simply a basket or a group of stocks or companies that represent a portion of the market. It can also be a group of bonds that represent a market or a portion of a market. And it can be large or small. It can be like the entire U.S. stock market. Or it can just be something like stocks that are involved with pharmaceutical products. So index funds can be large or small, represent a large part of the market or a small part of the market. And what I really wanted to share with you today that I don't have on the previous video about indexing is the terms passive and active. And these terms relate to mutual funds. Now, index funds are a type of mutual funds. And passive is used, is the word used for index funds simply because the manager of an index fund is just going to buy the companies that make up that index. So let's look at stocks for example. A stock index. The manager is just going to buy the companies that are in the index. You've probably heard of the S&P 500. That's an index of 500 companies in the U.S. stock market that are large companies that are associated with growth. So if you buy an index fund that represents the S&P 500, all that needs to happen is that fund manager needs to buy the companies in that, in that index, the 500 companies in that index. That's pretty easy. And with com everything being computerized now, I'm sure everything is just automated. So there's not an, uh, a manager saying, on a day-to-day -day basis, okay, let's check and see what's in the S&P 500 today, because there's also very little turnover. There's very little work involved with that. So that's why it's referred to as a passive index fund. There's just not a lot of work involved with it. Now one of the great things about that is, since there's not a lot of work involved with it, the fees are typically really, really low. I want to mention the other type of Term, the other type of fund that's used around term, uh, term that's used around all of this, and the one I mentioned is the passive fund. The other term that's used is active fund. Now that would be a fund where a manager is actively managed and picking out stocks, or maybe a team of managers, and they're picking out stocks based on criteria that they've selected that they want to use for the companies that are specifically in their fund. It might be based on their growth or their capitalization, which is also their size, or it might be based on the sector that they're in or the country that they're in or whatever their criteria is that they've decided. That's referred to as actively managed. So that they're looking, the fund manager or managers and research department are always looking and seeking the stocks or the companies that meet the criteria that they're that they want to hold in that fund. So that's referred to as actively managed. So you can see how actively managed funds may have higher fees than a passively managed fund. So that's one of the basic things that I think all investors need to know about investing in a fund whether it's a mutual fund or whether it's a larger fund that's more institutional, um, more of an institutional type of fund, is the fund passively or actively managed. And remember that passive funds don't require a lot of management, usually have lower costs because of that, while actively managed funds do require more attention from the managers, a lot of attention, research goes into running actively managed funds. Thank you for watching my video today. Please visit financialwoman.com where I have blogs and other information just like this on the video. So thank you for listening today and watching today. And may we always be grateful that we do have assets to invest and money to pay attention to.
Thank you. Camille Gaines signing off.